when I came in Dubai, you know, my grandmother brought me up to become a parish priest. And she never allowed me to speak to anybody. She, I was sleeping under her bed. I mean, that much, I mean, she loved me and uh, I was pet and um, she wanted me to be a parish priest. Then my father died. Then she said, you have to go somewhere because my mother got 10 children. So I must go out. And uh, even I don't know how to go to the street because she never allowed to me eat ice cream, talk to the people. I just go to the college and home. This was mine. And uh, then, you know, I worked because I don't know where to go for the work. The, the person who brought me, he was a car washer. And where he is, uh, and there was a sleeping, there is a room without AC. And uh, I used to sleep on the terrace. Those days of the summer season, the terrace. Because I know nothing about Dubai or how to do, how to do, what to do, where to go, nothing. Somebody gave me a job in a hotel as a room boy. I was working the cleaning and everything. Then, you know, tough. It was a tough because there was no money, no guiding, nothing. I was nothing. But, you know, the circumstances, circumstance forced me to choose myself what to do. I mean, jump to something. Okay. And I was doing in a hotel industry as a cleaner. But uh, all of a sudden, with my hard work, that owner gave me that hotel and he left to the Singapore. <laughs> that was a 10 rooms hotel. And you know, then I was running a little bit and the social work started because I'm a social, since childhood, I'm doing the social work, you know. Then I joined the Kairali Kala Kendram. It was the first Malayali organization in Dubai. I joined there as a member. That made me as a character to, inf uh, to go to in front of the people, how to talk to the people, how to utilize the people, and like these and blah, blah, so many cultural activities. Like that, it was going on. Then I started that hotel business. Then it was a very old building. And the owner came and said, he wanted to demolish that building. Then I said, just I went to a flower shop for a part-time. Uh, he had a taste in Karama. He needed a part-time somebody. I went to there. I was very, very artist, like you know, the flower. Then I was doing the flower arrangement there. Then my friends asked me, why don't you start? I said, what is it? Where is the money? Where is nothing? I didn't have anything. Monthly I was getting 1,000 or 1,200 dirhams. How do I start? Okay, that one part. But when they demolished the building, I have nothing. There is no choice. Then I, st I started with 5,000 dirhams. Two friends helped me also. A small shop, Jenny Flowers. You know, in childhood, uh, my garden, I was so much fascinated in the garden making and my mother used to bring lots of plants and I used to do that, okay. And there is a month, the May, you know, we have in the church, um, Mother Mary's one month and it was my duty to make the garland from the jasmine to put her, okay. And I was attracted in the altar and everything, there are so many flower arrangements, sisters used to make it. but. Then I said, why can't I do that? You know, I, I, I was so much, even in the home also, with my grandmother, with my company, like my uncle has got to Wood Industries. So it was my duty to decorate the altar, everything. So that habit came here. Then I said, I'll make a flower shop. Okay. I started in a small, and all of a sudden, then the war came, then collapsed. Everything has been collapsed. I didn't have the money for the food. I sold the shop. Then, even one day I'm sorry. Then, you know, for the food, I was working in the three home to the kitchen helper for my food. Then, I, I sold Jenny flower to one Monsi. What he said, Jenny, it is your tears. Nobody else can take over, nobody else can touch the shop. And he gave me my shop back without anything. One day he brought the key and he said, this is your shop, you can run. 
those days I was doing the, you know, there is Gulf landscaping, I was doing the flower designing there. They were giving me very high salary. Then from the day, from childhood, I was so much uh, servicing to the special needy children who paralyzed from childhood only. Then when I came to Dubai, I used to visit some of the people and there was an, a local person, Mr. Abdul Bari. He was completely paralyzed. He needed someone to speak to him. Then I used to always go there when I just speak to him because nobody is there to speak to him. Then I used to go to him. We became so close friends, you know. Then after the war, he gave me the key. Then Mr. Abdul Bari said, you take 30,000 dirhams and why don't you restart again? Then I restarted. Then I didn't look back. Because from the failure, because the Gulf War that time, because lots of people didn't pay, means there was no business man. The people who was to pay, uh, they don't pay. So like that I collapsed, but again I came out. After that, one by one, and I had a one staff with a bicycle. <laughs> okay. From there, now I have 40 vehicles and 150 staffs. And we are doing the mainly landscaping. Then I started the gardening, landscaping, the mainly the landscaping and the flowers, these and that. Lots of activities in Jenny Flowers. Now we are mainly in the landscaping division. Okay, we have Abu Dhabi, Musafa area, and Sharjah, and Dubai. And in India, we have in Kerala and the USA one branch. You know, like that, we do international flowers, international gift delivery. So we have the connection all over the world, and we used to do help that. Landscaping we are doing in Kerala, like in Northern Kerala, and all over UAE. The land of UAE is a mother that, you know, because I don't know how about the new generations, but the older generations, they made that's such a give and take, okay? They gave the good opportunity to the people and the, the people serve this country the better way to come up. I believe the people are, compared to other country, the, the freedom they enjoy and they serve like, I'm saying more than their country, I believe. Now, now even now also, new generations also, they love this country and the, his, his Highness Sheikh Mohammed's policy to, to serve the people and the people serve to him.